All right, so real quick, I saw this tweet on uh, Tariq Nasheed's timeline on Twitter as well as Sean King's timeline on Twitter. Uh, two black teenagers uh, were shot by suspected race soldiers in East Pittsburgh. I believe it's a suburb outside of Pittsburgh. Here is a, uh, a video webcam, uh, a, a cell phone video captured of the footage of the, the, the teenagers being shot. So let me play it real quick. So they fled the scene and they run. So obviously, you know, these suspected race hooders are going to say they were in fear of their life and therefore they had to shoot. Again, like I said, it's been open season for black people for since the inception of the transatlantic slave trade. I've been telling y'all that for over 500 years. And, um, you know, they're doing our job for us. They're helping us racially cleanse us. You know, uh, the the illusion is that black on black crime, we inflict our damage on ourselves, but they created the environment for that to happen. With the death of a, of a rapper, you know, XXS Tentacion, and allegedly the one of the shooters or these shooters are black, you know, we killing ourselves as well as these suspected race soldiers are killing ourselves. Um, they're doing our job for us and helping eugenics and racial cleansing of us you know until we separate completely from the dominant white society this is going to continue to happen but uh going back to the story the teens were shot because uh, it was a routine a routine traffic stop the story indicates that uh they were stopped um by the 800 block of kilpatrick avenue in north bradick around 8 p.m and one of the people driving the vehicle were detained or something like that. There were three people in the vehicle. One of them were detained. The two others allegedly fled the scene. Therefore, you heard the shots. You know, uh, white supremacists are going to automatically, you know, defend these race soldiers and say that the black niggers should have never ran and that the black niggers had a criminal record and the black niggers this that and the third and i'm pretty sure once the story continues to unfold by mainstream media they're going to continue to dissect the bet the family in the background of the um the victims who were shot and, and killed um by these race soldiers they're going to find some kind of criminal history background and troubled past and uh demonize them and more, more than likely make these these race soldiers heroes um, and things of that nature. Of course, it's going to be paid leave and investigation and yada, yada, yada. Self-defense. I was in fear of my life. Same story, you know, same story, different state. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, just wanted to report this, this quick uh, story to you guys. Like I said, I saw this on um, Tariq's and Sean King's Instagram. I mean, um, Twitter timeline. So I just wanted to share this story with you guys. Race soldiers are continuing to do our job for us. And um, that's what it is, family. All right, so let, uh, leave your comments down below if you have more information regarding this story. If you have more information regarding the victims, I'm pretty sure once the story or once the victim's name is released, we're going to have some kind of hashtag, you know, justice for so-and-so and a crowdfunding site and a whole bunch of um, more than likely protests in the city and, you know, people angry and maybe a riot. It's the same story that's going to continue to happen. Like I said, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, those are my thoughts on that family. Leave your comments down below until next time. Chauncey, AKA the black separatist signing out.